YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over how the Washington Redskins could somehow have a one-year turnaround and make it to the playoffs in 2020. So with that being said, let's get straight into today's video, but before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL, or in this case, my Washington Redskins, or should I say our Washington Redskins, and let's get straight into today's video. So... How the Washington Redskins could have a one-year turnaround and make it to the playoffs in 2020? This question dawned on me yesterday. Yesterday, I was just chilling and, and watching Redskins videos, of course. And then I was looking at a, a, a video, a Madden video, about a, a dude named It's Your Boy Pizza. I'm pretty sure you guys know who that is if you watch Madden videos. So he made a video of him rebuilding the Washington Redskins. And he was like basically saying the Redskins was trash and all that stuff, which I mean, of course, you gotta expect that from people that don't really know the Washington Redskins. Um, so he traded away Deron Payne, John Allen, he traded away Ma uh, Matthew Ionitis. Um, so it was just a, re a rebuild, right? And then I was just wondering, I was just looking at our team, and I was like, under this new regime, the Washington Redskins could have a one-year turnaround. Although a lot of people think that this year is going to be a bad year, Juan Rivera said that he doesn't look at this, at this team as a long rebuilding process. So maybe not this year, but next year for sure. But I just wanted to tell you guys how what I believe and how the Washington Redskins could have a one-year turnaround. So this question dawned on me late last night. So reason number one how the Washington Redskins could have a one-year turnaround is clearly the quarterback play. The quarterback play, Dwayne Haskins' development, and and the way he plays in 2020 is going to be a huge part of the success or the failure for the Washington Redskins in 2020. And the way he's been working out now, every single day, he's looking good. He's looking good, and I know a lot of people want to say, "Oh, but it's training." Everybody looks good in training, which is true. But if you understand the way the progress that he's made from the preseason game versus the Browns to the end of the game, end of the season game versus the Giants where he got hurt, you will understand why we're saying the progress looks good. This guy went, this guy went uh, from throwing two picks in the Browns game to having the uh, second, what was the first most passer rating in the NFL amongst rookies the last four weeks of the season. So you, the progress is there. And I feel as though that Dwayne Haskins is set for a big year in 2020. It feels like we talk about this every single day in every video. But he's like he's the topic of discussion. He's like the topic of discussion. So that's reason number one how the Washington Redskins can have a quick turnaround in 2020 from going from worst to first in the NFC East. 3-13 this year to maybe 10-6, 9-7 this year. So, with that being said, you know, Dwayne Haskins can't do it all by himself. He can't do it all by himself. As much as people like to blame only the quarterback for the downplay of last year, it's a team effort, baby. It's a team effort. So, he needs everyone to step up as far as everyone. I mean, literally everyone from the coaches to the players. So, the next set of people that I think needs to step, step up and, and, and help out to have this quick turnaround is obviously the coaching staff. It's obviously the coaching staff, led by Ron Rivera, who has that um, championship pedigree in him. He knows how to run a locker room. He knows how to change a culture. Um, he did say it takes three to five years to change a culture, what was scary to a lot of people. But let me say this here. When he means time to change a culture, that doesn't mean that it's going to take three to five years to have a winning season. I know a lot of teams that doesn't have a, a, a winning culture, but still made it to the playoffs and had a decent run. So just because he's saying it takes three to five years to turn around a locker room, um, it doesn't mean it's going to have three to five years to get a win get a winning season going. So reason number two is obviously easy is Ron Rivera, Jack Dario, and Scott Turner. They need to have these players ready to go out on each and every Sunday to fight for them and fight what's on their helmet and fight what's on the back of their jersey every single Sunday to maybe, to maybe make a playoff push in 2020. Because if we was in a packed division such as the NFC West or you can even throw the, um, you can even throw, let's say, I don't want to say the AFC East, but the, let's just use the NFC West for an example. Let's use the NFC West for an example, or maybe even the AFC North. 
those divisions have at least three teams that are that are um playoff caliber teams. NFC West, you got the Rams, you got the um actually I'll say I'll take the Rams out. I, you got the Cardinals, you got the 49ers of course, and you got the Seahawks of course. That's three teams in the NFC West that are playoff caliber teams. Now, if the Washington Redskins was in them, in in each um, either division, AFC North with the Browns, Ravens, and um, Steelers all playoff teams on paper, we wouldn't have a chance to win a division next year. But the fact that we're in the NFC East next year, or or since we're in the NFC East and we know how bad the NFC East is, the Washington Redskins have a shot to win the the division each and every year, no matter how bad this team is. So that's what I'm saying. The Washington Redskins have a quick turnaround, can have a quick turnaround if they apply all these um, changes to the team. Like I said, back to Ron Rivera, Jack Real. It's their job to put a game plan out for the players to have them be successful. And I feel as though Ron Rivera is the perfect coach for the job to do that. In Carolina, 15-1 season, two-time Coach of the Year award um, or Coach of the Year winner. He went to the Super Bowl. Although he did lose the Super Bowl, he knew what it took to be there. He knew what it takes to be there on the biggest stage of them all. And I feel as though that he can be the perfect leader to lead the Washington Redskins to the promised land. None other than Jack Del Rio. It's Jack Del Rio's um, responsibility to get these defensive players out there to kill the quarterback, suffocate the quarterback, make the quarterbacks be like, oh, we got to watch the Redskins this week. No, no, I don't want to play them. That's what it's his job is to do, is to make put fear into the opposing offense's um, eyes, saying, I don't want to play the Washington Redskins. That's Jack Del Rio's job. Get Chase Young, Matt Ioannidis, Ryan Anderson, um, Deron Payne, John Allen. Get all them boys, Montez Sweat, Ryan Kerrigan, all them boys, and even the back end secondary. Get all them boys set to be successful this year. Because we have a top 10 defense on paper. On paper, we have a top 10 defense, all, and it's heavily carried by our front seven because, I mean, we know towards the back end, outside of Landon Collins and Kendall Fuller, who else is really proven? Who else is really proven? Um, so it, it should be fun to see. Um, but as far as the offense aspect goes, we need Scott Turner to put out a great game plan built around Dwayne Haskins for him to be successful. And that's what it seems like they're doing. It seems like that's what they're doing to help Dwayne Haskins be as good as possible next year. It seems like they're going to be doing that um, when it comes to Scott Turner and the offense. We, every video, I feel like we talk about the Eric Corio offense, but it needs to be talked about. It's a vertical passing offense made by none other than San Diego's head coach, Don Coriel. And what was Haskins thriving at the most? How did he throw 50 touchdowns at Ohio State? He was in a vertical passing offense, which he required him to throw the ball deep every play. Quote from Don Coriel said, every, pa every first play decision before we made audibles at the line, every play was to, or every, you know, first down play was to go deep. Every single play on every single possession. First, second, third down, the first option was to always go deep. That's per Don Corio, the maker of Air Corio offense. What does Haskins thrive at the most? Going deep. Being able to sling the ball across the field. So as long as Scott Turner could have an offense that's built around Dwayne Haskins' strengths like like um, John Harbaugh did with Lamar Jackson, um, that's that's how the Washington Redskins are going to be able to be good next year. Build an offense around your quarterback, and I promise you he's going to be successful. I promise you he's going to be successful. Urban Meyer, his former Ohio State head coach, said, you want Dwayne Haskins to be successful? Build someone, thinks, bring him superstars around him. Bring him stars around him, matter of fact. Put people that's next to him that's going to want to play for him. That's going to want to play for Dwayne Haskins and, and make him look good and help him win games. Not only help Dwayne Haskins win games, but help the team win games. And I feel as though we have that here. Although it seems like all of our players are young because majority of our players is young, I feel like, though, that we do have that team, that young team that's going to want to go out there and play with that dog in them. Especially Terry McLaurin, especially Steven Sims, Kevin Harmon, AGG. So I do feel as though that the Washington Redskins can have a one-year turnaround with everything going right. And what I mean by going right is injury-free, Throughout the whole season, I mean, I know you're gonna have nicks here and there as a part of the game, but as long as we can limit the season-ending injuries, we can have good coaching staff, good locker room, everyone on the same page. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good, and we can possibly have a one-year turnaround. Now, with that being said, 
how I believe they can get this done is just you don't have to win every single game, especially being in the NFC East. You don't have to win every single game being in the NFC East. Um, being in like another division such as like the NFC West, you might have to win every single game. But since you're in the NFC East, you don't have to win every single game. So with that being said, just win the important games. Win the important games, and you can possibly have a shot at winning this division. Because if you ask me, I'm not surprised if the Washington Reds can somehow win this division this year. So with that being said, the Washington Redskins can have a quick turnaround. Everyone just has to play their part. More of the story. Everyone just has to play their part, and the Washington Redskins can have a quick turnaround in 2020. As always, it's me, boy, Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe, hell to the Redskins. Turn on post notifications so you're going to find out a little video about the NFL, or in this case, our Washington Redskins. How do you think the Washington Redskins can have a quick turnaround in 2020 and make the playoffs? I gave you my opinion on the floor is yours. Hell to the Redskins. Like, comment, subscribe. It's me, boy, Juan Gotti. Peace.